Hello guys, welcome to Fun Logger. Today we will discuss about the concept which is widely used in industries that is power factor. In this video, we will discuss basic concept of power factor, types of loads used in industries and what is leading and what is lagging power factor. So, let's start with the basics of power factor. Formula for power factor is the ratio of active power to the apparent power. But what is that means? Let's take an example of beer. We pay for beer, but inside the glass there are both beer as well as foam. The more the beer we have, the less the foam there will be. So we get very good value for the money. But if it is vice versa, it's a loss for us. This beer represents the true power or active power, which is a very useful stuff. And this foam represents reactive power, which is a useless stuff. In actual industries, inductive loads are connected to the system due to which reactive power inside the system increases. In order to overcome this, capacitive loads are connected to the system which maintains the ratio of active to the apparent power to the unity. Let's take an another example of this beer. In this figure, active power is equal to the apparent power. That means the power factor is unity. To know more about the power factor, you need to know the three basic terms, which are current, voltage and frequency. Let's start with the current. Current is nothing but the flow of electrons through the conductor and voltage is the driving force required for this flow. In layman language, voltage forces current to flow through a conductor or a wire. The third term is frequency. If you understand the frequency, then you will know easily what is the power factor. Let's take an example of tube light. This is the tube light to which two wires are connected. One is phase, one is neutral. Through phase, voltage and current is flowing at 50 Hz. Then what is that 50 Hz? It's a frequency. We all know that in India, government supplied electricity at 50 Hz. That means this tube light will turn on and turn off 50 times in a second. This frequency can be varied by using a device called VFD. The full form of VFD is variable frequency drive. As I told you earlier that 50 Hz means your tube light will turn on and off 50 times in a second. This graph will clear your queries about the statement I have made. It represents the waveforms of voltage and current flowing through the phase with respect to time. It shows that the voltage and current starts at one point and completes its cycle in a one point only. The half waveform as I am showing indicates that the tube light is turned on and the other half is showing tube light is turned off and that's how the cycle of both current and voltage goes further 50 times in a second. Further to know about what is leading and lagging power factor, you need to understand this type of loads used in industries due to which power factor varies. The types of loads used in industries are resistive load, inductive load and capacitive load. Let's see one by one. First one is resistive load. As I told you in earlier example that current and voltage both flows through same wire. Hence in resistive load, both current and voltage starts and ends the cycle at the same point. The next one is inductive load. Sometimes what happens, induction equipments which has their own individual power factor which is less than 1 get connected to the system due to which current lags the voltage as shown and our power factor get disturbed. To overcome the gap between the voltage and current, capacitor bank get connected across the load which tries to close this gap and maintain the power factor at unit. The next one is capacitive load. Sometimes what happens, capacitive load get 
increased while maintaining the inductive load at unity or near to the unity due to which current leads the voltage this can be overcome by switching off one of the step of the capacitor bank now i will show you some examples of leading lagging and unity power factor first one is the lagging power factor in this energy meter is showing lagging pf which is less than unity that means the inductive load inside the system increases second one is the leading power factor leading power factor is denoted with the negative sign that means capacitive load inside the system increases next one is unity power factor it is not possible to maintain at exact unity but point triple nine is good power factor in this voltage and current are traveling together so that's it thanks for watching my video please subscribe to my channel that really motivates me to create amazing content and don't forget to like comment and share thank you so much